Jim Panky here. I was sitting here practicing and playing on my uh, Recording King Dirty 30s model. And if you've got this RKH 05, it doesn't come with an armrest. And I I don't mind that so bad, but it would really be nice to have an armrest. So I'm going to show you a way to put an armrest on this thing and, and show you a couple of the problems that you're going to face trying to do it and I'll walk you through it. It, it, it'll be a breeze. First thing you need to do is decide where you want your armrest, and, and that's totally up to you. I like mine to sit somewhere right around there, and, and that's that's up to you. Some people put it up another notch, and, and that's, like I said, that that's your preference. I, I prefer mine right about here. I think it looks good, and it works good for me. So that's where we're gonna, gonna put this. Uh, the problem with this banjo, putting it there this it's got it's got these bracket shoes and the little little point on these shoes you see comes up fairly high right there and the little the little piece that the holds the armrest on while it'll sit right there let's see there you go you can see that while it'll sit right there that adjusts the armrest at the absolute highest position and I like to set mine down a little lower than that but that may be okay for you and if that's good for you then you don't have to go any further other than just to attach your armrest right there me I have to do a little something else so what I've got to do is I'm going to I'm going to take these two little I'm going to take these brackets off and these bracket shoes off and we will we're going to grind off the tip of that, and that'll give us a little more adjustment. So I'll be right back. We'll just take the resonator off the banjo. Pretty simple. I'm just sitting here working in my in my room, not doing anything else. Uh, this way I can keep track of all my stuff. Nothing really complicated here. And uh, we get to see the inside of this banjo again. Uh, and then I'll show you how we're going to go about taking those brackets off and, and that that's pretty easy peasy, but So we get rid of the resonator And then we've got to remember which ones we want it off So I like to put the armrest back on there just to make double sure Okay, so it's these two brackets. So we're going to take these two off and it's not going to hurt your head tension or anything we, We'll put them back just like we found them and uh so let, let's go ahead and take those off. So you'll you'll need you'll need a little nut driver to take those off. I've, this is what I use. You can use pretty much whatever you whatever you've got. I mean, I've been in a pinch where I've had to use a pair of pliers. <laughs> it's just whatever works. And, and you need to go ahead and take these all the way off uh, because we're going to have to take the shoes off as well. Here's that one. And go ahead and get this one. And once you have your brackets out, then we're going to take these two shoes off, and you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. And we're just going to take these two screws out. And they just just unscrew. I like a short screwdriver. Gives a little. A little more room to work. And, and they just they just come right out. They just lay right there for now. I like to put the screw back in them. There's that one. And then let's get the other one. So there's the other one out. Put the 
screw back in. What we want to do is we want to take any way you want to, and we're going to grind this down. Uh, you can get a cutting wheel, uh, and, and that's the way I do it. I take a cutting wheel on a Dremel tool, and I just, just cut that, and I'll file and clean it back up, and that way you've got a shorter shoe. All right, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll show you what I, I'll show you the finished product. All righty, so here's what the here's what it looked like, and now here's what it looks like now. I've shortened it, you see. So see how it was. <laughs> see if I can hold them both here. You have one was short and one's long, and so now that short one is going to replace this one. So let's. I'm going to go ahead and reverse all of that. I'm going to put these back on, and that'll give us room for the armrest. So now I've got these reinstalled and I'm ready to put my brackets back on and tension those back up and then we'll put the armrest on. You just slide your brackets through, just like that. Nothing, nothing to it. Okay. We'll put our brackets nuts back on. Tension those up a little bit. And just kind of get them back to where they were. You're not really trying to tighten your head. You're just putting those brackets back on tight. Make sure they're not loose. And now you're all set. And now see you've got space for your armrest. And then all we do is we're going to put on an armrest. And now we can adjust it all the way down to wherever it's most comfortable for you. All right. So this part of the job, it's almost like you need to be an octopus or have a friend or, but <laughs> you, you got to hold this with one hand. You're going to lay your armrest there and then you're going to try to match the screw up to the hole on that bracket and that takes a little patience and, and me doing this sitting here is kind of quirky but there we go we got it and then you so you can use the same wrench that you tightened your uh, your head with to tighten that up it's usually the same as it's a quarter inch just keep your uh, keep your little bracket straight and tension that up and now so all you got to do is put your resonator back on the banjo and now you've got an armrest on your rk 3030s Let's go ahead and put our resonator back on. And there you have it. You got an armrest on your RK05 3030s resonator folks and i hope this gives you confidence that you can do a simple modification to your banjo to make it the way you want it to be all right we'll see you next time bye